Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be undergoing a crazy hair transformation and by the end of this video my hair is gonna look different. I'm not gonna give it away, I'm not gonna tell you what we're doing because part of me doesn't even know what we're doing but I just know it's gonna be wild. So I'm gonna bring you along on this journey with me. I'm not quite sure what to expect. But I just know that it's gonna be extremely different. Also, every time I film an intro when I haven't had my coffee, I have to literally bring every cell in my body together and just like fake it to fake it like a human being because my brain is so scattered at the moment. I'm not gonna lie to you. But anyways, Hi. I'm excited to hang out with you guys today. Today's gonna be fun and chaotic and there's gonna be a lot of moving parts and a lot of different things are gonna be going on. Oof. So yeah, today's gonna be pretty hectic and a lot of different things are gonna be going on all day long. I'm gonna get my makeup done, I'm gonna get my hair transformed, and then I'm gonna be taking pics. And I'm gonna have one of those days where I just like take 500 pictures and then try to trick you guys into thinking that they were taken, sprinkled throughout the week. Um, but it's all gonna be getting done here, so it's gonna be a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts. And on days like this, I get kind of stressed out because it's just like a lot happening. And so I'm gonna need to do my meditation today and really just find my center, honey, especially today. And then I'm gonna have my coffee because I, I don't feel like a human being right now. Also, you guys are obsessed with this lounge set that I keep wearing. I literally can't take it off. I'll link it down below for you. Let's get this bread. Finally, the studio looks like presentable to have someone over to like glam, like the boxes and stuff are out of the way. So it's coming together cute. Some progress has been made around the house uh, since the last time we spoke. The master bedroom is now in the room. What the f did I just say? That's not even what happened. Let me try that again. I need my coffee. <sighs> Should I just redo this scene like nothing happened? Let's see how good I am at acting. If I'm bad at acting, I'll probably just edit it out of the video and act like it never happened. What? I was just, what? Who the hell? Who's here? Oh, FedEx. Okay. The guest bedroom. <laughs> take three, take three, take three. Some changes have been happening in the guest bedroom. The bed came and now my treadmill is getting pushed up against the wall. It's gonna be awkward doing a full blown workout here just like next to a bed, but whatever. And this bed is also in. All right, let me get this meditation because I'm, I can't do a house for right now. I need to find my, yeah, my center, BRB. Penny, do you wanna meditate with me? Yes, do you want to meditate with me? Coffee? He was trying to drink coffee and start his day, but I convinced him. I got him on board. You're gonna thank me for this later, by the way. Honestly, some meditations are better than others. Like, I was doing my meditation, I was in it, and then in the first, like, five minutes, I got a spam likely call, and I was like, okay, great. Like, let me just get back into it. And then like in the middle of my meditation when I was like into it, I get a FaceTime call. So my meditation this morning really wasn't ideal. And when that happens, I'm like, eh, how do I not let this put me in a bad mood? But sometimes I catch myself slipping and I'm like, okay, how do I turn this mood around? Because I have a long day today. Uh, life is just so hard. No, I'm kidding. Um, I need my coffee. So I think this morning I'm gonna do either Colombian or Mexican. I don't know. Does it say where intense is? So the Colombian is. Oh, the Colombian is a five intensity and the Mexican is a seven intensity. Today we're going for the seven, baby. I need it today. What happened? I didn't get much sleep last night, not gonna lie. How cute are these black coffee mugs? I'm so glad I went with black. Every morning when I drink my coffee, I just feel modern. Does that, does that make sense? I, I don't know. I used to have like fun coffee mugs and each one of them would say a different thing and it was like cute, but now with my all black, like I have like 10 of these just black, serious, like no time to play games. I think I'm overthinking this, but anyways, having black coffee cups, a vibe. Guys, I keep going back and forth about what I think my preference is and I haven't really like landed on something so if you want to like tell me your routine so maybe it can influence my routine, let me know. But 
I really love iced coffee. Why am I asking? Okay, I really love iced coffee, but in the mornings I really enjoy hot coffee because I feel like it just kind of like feels like a hug on the inside of my body and kind of like wakes me up intensely. And with the hot coffee, you can drink it slowly and like you get to really enjoy it more. And then around like 2 p.m. I'll have the cold coffee, but sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it hits uniquely in the morning having a straw and just sucking like a big iced coffee. I don't know. I'm at a crossroads. I don't know what to do every morning, but this morning I chose hot. Maybe, maybe the tea is just like waking up and doing whatever you feel like doing that morning, but part of me just wants the routine to like pick one, you know? Is that a thing? Ugh. Why do I overthink everything? Sometimes I'm not excited to do my morning workouts, but today for some reason I like can't wait. So I'm gonna do my 12, 3.30 because there's literally just like no other time for me to do it in the day. I've got my little workout outfit on. I kind of love this little sports bra. I just got it. Um, okay, so let's get this 12, 3.30 going. Yeah, why am I looking forward to this workout so much? I think the reason that I am is because when I do 12, 3.30, I just kind of like watch YouTube videos the whole time. That's how I entertain myself because it literally is just like walking on an incline for half an hour. I think I'm just I'm in the mood to like check out and watch a video and like tune the world out and do my 12, 3.30. Let's get it. 12 incline, three speed, 30 minutes. Let's go. Honestly, I've been noticing my body start to improve and like look kind of good. Especially yesterday, I was like, why does my body look so good? Especially because I've been like low-key drinking wine with dinner and like eating cheese, question mark. My body's been kind of fire. I'm like confused, but not complaining. Hey, uh, I feel so much better after I worked out. Look at what just got in. More furniture, guys. This place is really coming together. Uh, this is a chair and it's for my studio. So I'm gonna unbox it while I spit some facts. So I just posted this on my Instagram story. But basically, I have a piece of advice that could be useful for you, could not be useful for you, but recently it's been really beneficial to me, so I'm going to share. The T is, guys, to define yourself by your wins. It's so funny that I'm doing that while I'm twirling around a box cutter, but that really is the T, define yourself by your wins. So you know when you're trying to accomplish something or get something done or achieve something or progress in an area of your life, and sometimes your brain tricks you and like gets in these negative spirals of like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. And then your brain will take you down these spirals of one time you did something bad and then you tried something and this happened wrong and this happened bad one time. So, the T is you gotta catch yourself in these situations and literally like rewire your train of thought and stop yourself and remind yourself of all the times that you did something and you succeeded. So literally just be like, I did great this time, I did this one time and I did better than I thought I was gonna do. I did this great the other time, like I literally killed it at this and really just define yourself by those things that you've done well. Every time your brain tries to like try to make you define yourself by all the things you did wrong. So this allows you to get out of your own way and continue succeeding and doing whatever it is that you wanna do. So that's the tea that I have for today. I've been doing it a lot recently and it's like my life is so much better. Let's open this chair. Wow, okay, these look so good. The vision is coming to life. Nothing's in its correct spot, so take everything with a grain of salt. But I feel like you guys get the vibe, right? Mmm, it's coming together. Okay, so glam has officially started. We have our queen, Nat. Wait, look at the camera. Why are you looking at the camera? Oh! <laughs> I thought you were doing the mirror. Queen Natalie has arrived, and oh today we have a special guest appearance. Hello. He came not empty-handed, guys. <laughs> The hair we are about to do today is gonna be such a moment. See you in a little when I look uh, completely different. Hey guys, wow, so my makeup is done. This is hair look number one. This isn't even the real hair transformation because the transformation is still yet to come, but I guess this is like a little bit of a teaser. Damn, every time Nat does my makeup, like she just kills it. Like I turn on the camera and I started vlogging, I'm looking at myself, I'm like, who is that? Um, so now I'm gonna find some outfits that go with this first look. I don't know if I wanna do something like cute and simple with like a Hint of pink in it, obviously. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. This is look number one. It's a very pink, I think, like a pink little bitchy, like, oh, I'm so nice, but I'm low-key a bitch. Look, that's the vibe that I'm getting from it. So we're just gonna, like, walk around, find where to shoot, and that's what's gonna go down. I typically do this every time. I don't know what's gonna happen, then it happens, and let's get it.
Okay, so we pulled up to this next location and the vibe is like chill, sporty, and um, it's like a blue basketball court, so I feel like it's gonna photograph really beautifully. And I'm glad that I'm finally taking pictures outside of my backyard, because I feel like it is gonna get repetitive. And I think it's gonna look really good on pictures. And Nat slayed my makeup for this. And then also on the way here, Henny was driving so fast and the poor girl couldn't find her seatbelt. And she goes, it's okay, I think my husband has life insurance on me. So, <laughs> so that's that on that. Okay, so right now we're in the process of the crazy hair transformation that I was telling you about this morning. Wait till you see what this look is gonna turn into. I've been literally just like on the edge of my seat all day for this look. We slowly built our way up here. You know, we got like subtly, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm literally just vlogging and Nat just goes, click. <laughs> the lighting just. <laughs> Everybody needs a friend like this in their lives. But slowly today we've been just like building this look up and building this look up and you just don't even know what's about to pop off. Like you may think you know, but you do not know what is about to go down. So, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, the vision is about to come to life, yes. Guys, I feel like I'm about to shoot a music video. Bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Guys, okay, so this is the look. I am so gagged right now. I really never do like super fun, super out there creative shoots like this. So I figured today like why not just go like balls to the wall and have fun with it. And I think I might have to do crazy things like this more often. Like why do I feel like I'm on my way to my music video? You know what I mean? Like this is just, this is everything. He literally killed it. Uh, so we're gonna go take some pictures right now. And oh my God, it feels so weird looking at myself like this. I look like some kind of like butterfly goddess. I'm gonna use this. This literally makes me glow so much in my photo shoot pictures. I'll link this down below. This literally makes the world of a difference. I feel like it's gonna be so confusing when I randomly just like pop on the gram and I'm like, bam, I have this situation going on. But like, what's, what's the point of being shy? With being extra, like you might as well be extra. Why not?